my video response to uh, Robert Rob. Um, I can't remember who started it off, but uh, first one is top four foods. Um, steak. Uh, hamburger, bacon wrapped chicken livers on the grill. If you haven't tried that, that's really good. And of course, uh, crab legs. And just to tell you how to do crab legs, you boil them with zatarans and then for the butter you add lemons, lemon juice, and I don't mean go buy it in a bottle, I mean buy actual lemons and squeeze it and drip it in, you know, squeeze them <coughs> and put it in real butter. That's how you make drawn butter. Because before I joined the Navy, I learned how to do that shit. Working as a short order cook. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to remember all four of these. <coughs> The next subject is, where did I start out, where have I been? Well, I grew up across the river in Omaha. I left there when I was uh, age 20. I moved to southern Missouri. I joined the Navy from there, had to go to Kansas City to fly out, they sent me to San Diego, which was my choice, I could have gone sooner, but they wanted to send me to Chicago, and I was like, no, fuck no. I ain't going to Chicago. I wanted to go in the family tradition of uh, going to boot camp in San Diego. So I went to San Diego. San Diego was cool. My A school was in electronics. I think I went to uh, electronic technician school for, I don't know, four or five months and then they booted me out and sent me to the fleet. Which turned out to be the best goddamn thing that could have ever happened to me as far as my naval career. So then they promptly put me on a ship and sent me to Hawaii. So yeah, Rob. Been to Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii 11 fucking times. But when they sent me to Hawaii the first time, My barracks was on Ford Island, which I know you don't know anything about, but I had to deal with uh, the ferry 
to get out to the island where my barracks was and the ferry would quit running at 11 p.m. So on weekends when I stayed out boozing and shit not really boozing just drinking beer they uh you get back after 11 p.m. there's no ferry so you sleep on the bench but then the Navy Shore Patrol would show up and say, you can't sleep on the bench. And I was always like, well, fuck, what am I supposed to do? So I'd get up and move on. And then come back. And then I'd sleep another couple hours. And then along about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'd get on the ferry. Go back to my barracks. And, uh... Take a shower, change my clothes, eat breakfast. Go to work. Whatever. Finally, the ship showed up. So with all my boot camp experience, I put on my dress blues to report to the ship, which was, uh, according to the regs, that's what you had to report in. Report in in. You had to be wearing your dress blues. Now, Hawaii, you don't ever wear your dress blues. Because it's so fucking hot over there. As you well know. So, I walk aboard, you know, show my ID, salute the ensign, Request permission to come aboard. Report to the officer of the deck. The officer of the deck calls my welcoming committee. My welcoming committee shows up and they promptly throw me against the hangar door and go, fresh meat, motherfucker. Welcome to the John A. Moore. And I'm serious, they threw me against the fucking hangar door. Now when I say hangar door, I'm talking about a helicopter hangar door. Man, I was scared to fucking death. I thought, man, what kind of shit did I get myself into? They really need to come down here and cut this fucking grass. So, all right. That was 1980, 83, late 83, early 84. So I ride the ship back to San Diego to 32nd Street. We were a Battle E winner, so we get uh, pier side at uh, Pier 2. And then in 1984, we take the ship on uh, drug ops and we pull into uh, the Panama Canal, Rodman Naval Base. Kind of weird because in 1987 that would be where my orders would take me. 
Oh, in the meantime, I went to, uh, on that cruise, I went to, uh, Philippines, Singapore, Hong Kong, um, Thailand, Malaysia, um, never made it to Australia. Sorry, Bandit Nev. Wish I would have got down there. That would have been really cool. Yeah, they pumped us all around the uh, West Pacific. So, 1987, I come up for orders and I decide to re-enlist. I re-enlist to get one of the brand new minesweepers being built in, I can't remember what city in Wisconsin. So I got the orders, I got them all locked up. I'm all good. So I take 30 days leave. You don't know what leave is. Leave is vacation. Because when you're shipbound, shipboard, you don't take leave. So I take 30 days. And I go home. I had like 60 fucking days on the books. So I took 30 days leave, I go home, and I'm visiting mom and dad down in southern Missouri. And dad comes in and says, you got a phone call. I said, what do you mean I got a phone call? Nobody knows I'm here. He said, it's your captain. Really, no shit. Well, he called to tell me they backed the ship up, the precom ship, the brand new one, Minesweeper, to tell me that they put the uh, they put the reduction gear in backwards, so it was going to be six months before I could be transferred. And I had all kinds of schools lined up to go to, and I'm like, so what the fuck difference does that make? Captain says they canceled your fucking orders. So I, I told Captain Bonnet, I said, uh, I'm leaving tomorrow to come, come back to the ship. We'll figure it out from there. I was totally fucking crushed. So I go back to the ship. The senior chief is like, well, you had a good time in Philippines. Um, how about I get you a set of order to the Philippines? And I'm like, nope. I gotta get the fuck off the west coast because I hated the west coast. Too many fucking liberals out there. So, having already been to Panama on drug ops, the captain calls me in and he says, How about orders to Panama? I said, That don't sound bad. He said, Well, I'll tell you, I got to interview you. 
This is about the time Ollie North and all that bullshit was going on. So I'm in the captain's stateroom, and the senior chief or master chief, whatever the fuck he was, goes in with me. And the captain starts asking me all kinds of weird questions. Well, how do you feel about uh, covert ops? And I'm like, I salute and go, my eye, sir. Tell me what you want me to do. I, I'm all for it. Knowing, knowing what this Ollie North bullshit was going down, I'm thinking, hell yeah, I can get into some shit. <laughs> 